here with a full body Pilates mini ball workout focusing on the abs and the glutes. The ball is optional. You can do all these exercises without the ball, but if you would like a ball, there's a link in the description as where you can purchase one of these. Let's get started seated on our mats. Let's go ahead and start seated on our mat. Our feet are planted on our mats from the toes all the way down to the heels. We're placing the ball in between our thighs. Give it a little bit of a squeeze. Sit up nice and tall up through the sit bones. Bring your arms parallel to the ground. Shoulders are relaxed. Take an inhale, exhale. Tuck the tailbone under, roll down just a little bit. Nice scoop in the belly. Take an inhale here and then exhale, turn around forward and we stack the spine. You're gonna go a little bit further each time. So now going a little bit further, take a big sip of air here, and then exhale to come forward, and then rebuild the spine. Again, inhale, exhale, roll on down, just to about the shoulder blades. Take an inhale, exhale, come forward, and rebuild the spine. One last time, inhale, Exhale, tuck and roll, keeping the ball squeezed in between the thighs. Take another sip of air. Exhale to come forward and we stack. Let's go ahead and place the balls in between our hands. And now we're gonna move in rotation. We're gonna reach the ball over to one side, inhale center, and then over to the other side. Turning from one side of the room to the other. Maybe with each repetition, you can reach that ball a little bit further each time. Try to keep those feet planted from the toes all the way to the heels. Let's go one more in each direction. Nice. Let's go ahead and place the ball behind our back, the lower ribs. We're gonna come into some nice easy sit-ups here. Fingertips behind your head, elbows wide. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Getting a little bit of an extension as you lower. Keep a little space between the chin and the chest. It's one breath, one movement. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and remove the ball from our back. We're gonna roll on to our backs. Now we're gonna bring our legs in tabletop position. The legs are zipped up. The ball is resting right by the knees. We're gonna come into some dead bugs here. Take an inhale to lift the head and shoulders off the mat. You're gonna reach the right arm and the left leg, and then you're gonna switch. The right leg and the left arm reaches and extends, alternating from one side to the other. Use those upper abs to help you keep the shoulders off the mat. Moving slowly and with control. Couple more. Nice, all right, let's go ahead and place the ball in between the thighs. We're gonna extend the legs up towards the ceiling, hands behind the head, and then we're gonna move in rotation here. We're gonna, that hand reaches towards the opposite foot Legs are extended up towards the ceiling.
for four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and flex at the knees, bring the arms out to the side, moving into torso rotations. Bringing the knees over to one side, inhale center, the knees come over to the other side. Try to keep your shoulders anchored onto the mat. Maybe with each repetition, the knees come a little closer towards the floor as you rotate from one side to the other. Let's go one more in each direction. Bring the knees back to center. Plant those feet back onto your mat. Now coming into a, a roll up. You can place your hands behind your thighs to help you up. Take an inhale, exhale, reach the arms overhead. And then maybe grab for the thighs as you roll on forward. Flex the spine and then roll on down. Once that head lands, take a big inhale, exhale. You can use your hands to help you come up. Keep that navel drawn into the spine. Slowly roll down, one bone at a time. One more with the knees bent. Now let's go ahead and straighten the legs. Flex the feet, anchor those legs. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale to reach the arms overhead. Exhale, scoop the belly in as you reach for those toes. And roll on down. Let's do four more like this. Relax the shoulders on the way down. Big inhale as the head lands. Nod the chin towards the chest. Reach for those toes as you scoop the belly in. Two more. Last one, lengthen and reach and roll on down. All right, we're gonna make our way into a seated position. So let's go ahead and stretch both legs long out in front of us. Our feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. You're gonna place the ball underneath your right hand. Your left hand goes out to the side, moving in lateral flexion, coming up and over. You're rolling that ball away from you as that left arm reaches up and over, keeping equal weight both sides of the hips. That left bicep tracks right over the ear. Coming up and over in that one straight line. One more. All right, we're gonna place the ball in the other hand on the other side. Sit up nice and tall up through those sit bones. Right arm out to the side, roll that ball away as you reach that arm up and over. Keeping that space between the chin and the chest. 
rolling that ball away. Last three. Two. One more. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and place the ball underneath our bottom ankle. Hip stacked, shoulder stacked. Nice uplift at the waist. We're gonna start with a leg lowers, lifting and lowering that top leg. With control, working those outer thigh muscles, your abductor muscles. Couple more, and then we'll add on. You're gonna lift, bend, straighten, lift, bend, and straighten. Last four. Couple more. All right, now moving into bananas, we're gonna place the ball in between both ankles. You're gonna come all the way onto your bicep with your palm facing up, hip stack, shoulder stack. Lift and lower both legs, keeping the ball squeezed in between the ankles and feet. And if you'd like that extra added challenge, lift the upper body the same time you lift the legs. Come on up, you're gonna place the ball behind the top leg. Both knees are bent, the heels are in line with your bottom. You're just gonna hover the leg, the top leg from the bottom leg. You're trying to keep that same angle from the knee all the way to the ankle. We're gonna add on here. As we lift the leg up, we're gonna lift the hips. Also adding on, working on that shoulder. Last four. Three. Two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and come up and over to the other side. The bottom leg, that ankle rests on top of the ball. Stack the hips and shoulders. Nice uplift at the waist. Starting with those leg lowers. Lifting and lowering with control. Working those outer thigh muscles. And then we're gonna add on. Let's lift, bend, drag the toe down the leg, and then lift, flex, stretch it out. Last four. Nice. 
All right, let's go ahead and bring the ball in between both ankles. Preparing for our bananas, coming onto the bicep with the palm facing up, hip stack, shoulder stack. Lifting and lowering both zipped up legs. And then if you want that extra added challenge, lift the upper body at the same time. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and bend both knees, placing the ball behind the top leg, giving it a squeeze. Coming into our hover here. So lifting that top leg, trying to keep that same level from the knee all the way to the ankle as you lift and lower. And then adding on, working that shoulder. As you lift, you lift, lift the leg, you lift the hips up. Almost there, give me four more. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right. Let's go ahead and remove the ball. We're gonna make our way onto all fours. Let's go ahead and place the ball behind the right knee. Coming into some leg lifts, keeping the hips square, abs engaged. Lifting and lowering with full range of motion. The knee comes towards the mat and the sole of the foot comes up towards the ceiling. For five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that knee up and now we're gonna reach that knee towards the elbow and then bring it back to that start position. Right knee aims towards the right elbow. Working on those obliques as well as the thighs and the glutes. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's place the ball behind the other leg, the left leg, coming back to all fours. Engage those abs, keep those hips square as you lift the sole of the left foot up towards the ceiling. Working on those glutes. Lifting with control. Last five, four, three, two, and one, keep that leg up. Now we're gonna head that, oh, that knee towards the elbow and then bring it back to the start position. Working on those obliques now.
Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. We're going to place the ball just in between our ankles and we're going to come onto our stomachs. So while you're down, think about engaging those abs and those glutes to protect your back. The sides of your hands are on your mat, bring the shoulders away from your ears. And then we're gonna inhale to lift into a swan and then exhale to lower. Inhale to lift and then exhale to lower. As you lift, your hands are coming towards you. One more. All right, now moving into Superman's. Keep the hands where they're at. We're gonna lift both the, the arms and the legs at the same time, and then lower. Inhale to lift, and exhale to lower. Keep that ball squeezed in between your ankles, your feet. Working those glutes and your back extensors. Last one. All right, bring one hand on top of the other, elbows out to the side. Flex up the knees, and then you're gonna lift and lower the thighs off the mat. They're not gonna come up very far, but you should be feeling this in the hamstrings and your glutes. Just three more. Two and one. All right, let's go ahead and do a little release work here. Hands by your shoulders, take an inhale. Exhale to shift those hips into a child's pose. You can bring the ball away from your hips as you're reaching those fingertips forward. You're trying to settle those hips towards your heels, getting some nice length into the spine. Let's go ahead and come on to all fours and do a little bit more of a back release. Flexing and extending the spine in some cat cows. Inhaling to extension, exhaling to cat. Couple more. Nice. Let's go ahead and make our way down back onto our backs. This time we're gonna place the ball underneath our both feet so our legs are zipped, zipped up. Arms out to the side. We're gonna come into a bridge. Lift the hips up and then lower. Coming into some flat back bridges. bridges. Working the core, the glutes, and the hamstrings. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and place our left foot on top of the ball. We're gonna come into a, a one-legged bridge here, and then we're gonna come into toe taps with that right leg. So that leg, right leg is in tabletop position. The hams, the quad is a 90 degree angle from the calf muscle. You're trying to keep the hips square. 
should also be feeling it in that left hamstring. Last four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right. Now go ahead and place the ball underneath the right foot. Come into a bridge, one-legged bridge. And then you're gonna tap that left toe onto the mat. Try to keep those hips level. Last three, two, and one. Nice, all right. Let's go ahead and place the ball in between the feet and the ankles. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Use those upper abs to lift your head and shoulders off the mat, coming into double straight leg stretch. Working those lower abs. Try to keep those lower ribs anchored onto the mat. If you feel like your, your back is arching too much, you can either take a bend in the knees and or shorten the range of motion. Last four. Nice. All right, go ahead and bend the knees. Hands at the shins, you're gonna inhale to open and then exhale to sweep those arms up and around and squeeze. Inhale to reach, exhale to squeeze it in. Last four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right. Let's go ahead and place the ball underneath our sacrum. Arms down by your side. Knees in tabletop position. And then you're gonna stretch one leg long and then the other. Keep those abs engaged. Keeping it nice and steady for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and remove the ball. And then we're gonna come into a single leg stretch. Single straight leg stretch. Let's go ahead and reach that right leg up towards the ceiling. The left leg reaches towards the opposite side of the room. You're gonna pulse, pulse one leg in and then the other. Giving the leg a nice little stretch here. Keep that belly scooped in. Shoulders off the mat. For four, three, two, and one. All right, let's make our way into a seated position. Use those lower abs to lift those legs up towards the ceiling. Bring your arms parallel to your legs. Take an inhale, exhale, and roll on up. All right, so go ahead and separate the feet about a little bit wider than your hips. Bring your arms parallel to the ground with the palms facing down. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale, exhale, 
to reach forward and then down, scoop the belly in, and then inhale to restack the spine, relax the shoulders on the way up. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, lengthen and reach. Two more. Relax the shoulders on the way up. Last one. All right, let's go ahead and make our way into a nice, easy seated position. Inhale to reach both arms up, connect the thumbs, reach those fingertips up towards the ceiling and then draw them slightly back. Bring those arms into gold post position. Bring them back a little bit. And then find the mat behind you, coming into a light back extension here. Take three deep breaths. Nice job.